All right, this short campaign sponsored by Roll20. How's everybody doing? So Yay. good. Super solid. Three part campaign starting tonight. Let's go. Get hyped. Um, uh, my character is Avery Amethal. Uh, their pronouns are they, them. Uh, Avery Amethal is a weird spinner who sees beyond. Avery uh, was the victim of a strange accident that has left uh, left me without memory uh, of anything that happened before the age of 18. Um, after you comes flouncing in Liddy. Liddy, uh, Liddy Linville. Uh, she, they, uh, is 20. We'll say 20. 20 is a good age. Um, and they um, wear exclusively skater dresses. Um, she is short and round, and she's got lots of curves and lots of bounce. And she's got long um, ombre hair that curls, and she wears up in space buns. And she always has on a little fanny pack. Um, and she's just the kind of person with stars in their eyes and that has a whimsy and a joy. And um, so she flounces in and sits beside who she considers her buddy, Avery. Everett walks in, Everett Landon. Mr. Everland, if you are one of my coming up on 2 million subscribers on YouTube. Um, I'm about 5'7", kind of a, a little, Jackson would say, bearish. Um, I have, uh, bright, uh, redhead goatee and hair with random spots, uh, selected pink and a few other colors, as most YouTubers go through a hair dyeing phase at some point, and it is my turn. What up, Jax fam? It's your boy, Get Jaxed! What up? <laughs> He would, if, if, if he wasn't in the estate right now in a top secret room, he would definitely have his phone out like, <laughs> like just like talking to TikTok. Yes, he's a TikToker. Um, he is a, a fitness uh, TikToker. So he does all those great videos about uh, getting fit. You absolutely could be live streaming from in oh, here. Oh, I can? You, yeah, you can. Oh, he's just, doing it. This is not past a security area. This is just a briefing area. Um, it's like a conference room. Oh, what up? I'm here at the estate. I'm with my boy. And I like point the camera, or whatever, at Everett. And Jack Sam. Vanya Bates um, comes in, like, kind of like pokes her head around the corner, makes sure there's no cameras pointing at her, since apparently that's a thing in here. <laughs> and then comes in. She's, uh, yeah, probably about. Five foot six, very wiry build, dressed in this like thick leather jacket, you know, skinny jeans with one of the knees ripped out, combat boots. Um, her head is shaved, <laughs> not not completely bald, but she's got like that little that little fuzz. Um, and her knuckles and wrists are wrapped. And she sort of like watches the cameras. And goes around the table to find a place where she will probably not get caught. <laughs> Just sort of gives everybody like a wave when they look at her like, please, please don't. Don't. Please don't. <laughs> I, f I feel like Jackson's still like respectful enough to be like, oh, gotta, gotta shut it off, guys. Gotta, gotta, gotta go. See you later, fam. What? And like, 
Yeah. <laughs> Out of respect. Right. This guy comes around literally looking like he walked off the beach of California. He's got long hair. He's got long hair down to here. He's wearing a Ron John tank top. He's wearing a hoodie, but it's like destroyed. And he maybe looks like he's a little cold, wearing flip flops, uh, board shorts, a, you know, right off the beach. And he's like, he literally was saying, it's like, I'm looking for like, um, uh, Anners. It's rainy here. That might not be right. Everybody feels that moment as your minds begin to transfer because you're no longer seeing now you're sensing you're noticing the change and the world around you dissolves and you see sort of the background of the strange the fractal kind of nautilus swirls of blue and purple against a black background where like if you pay a little too much attention you start like falling into it, into this infinite space. Um, and you pull yourself back because you're starting to see features coming out of the nothingness. You see um, a, a dark cloaked figure like stride over the ruins of the door and look and go, what is happening here? Unbelievable, look! My door! One door on the ground! Two doors on the ground! No! Oh. <laughs> Wait, is there no thunderclap? There is no thunderclap, and he's looking up at the sky. We're too late. Brendan Fraser is always a hero. Yeah, he'd like pull aside his mask and I'd be like, ah, oh, well, I'm on your team now. Sorry, guys. I'm on his <laughs> team. <laughs> Maybe that's the twist. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. So I can't help but think of the 90s or early thousands TV show Mummy is Alive with like power suits and evil purple scarab guy. A and little was... boy named Presley found a secret just this year that he was once a pharaoh when Egyptians ruled the world and now some sorcerer named Scarab tries to get him day and night. But Presley has four guardians to protect his very life. He has the mummies. <laughs> wow. I was not expecting anyone else to know that. Holy shit, Mary. High five. <laughs> that was really impressive. <laughs> Thank you.